welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel hi hello how are you i hope you can stay longer and subscribe to my channel and hey if you're coming back here in my channel wow you're such a queen bee welcome back <laughs> all right you guys today's video is going to be a requested video from one of our subscriber yes it has been a long time since i sat down here and review a um, fragrance or a perfume so today without further ado we are going to talk about amazing grace from philosophy Ta-da! All right, so we have here a tester sample, no, not a tester, but a sample. Bought this sample and I think, I forgot how much this is, but I think it's 240 or 250. And this is for 1.5 ml. Yes, we are going to talk about first is the notes. And yes, I know you noticed something. I have some glasses today. I have finally decided to um, have a reading glasses because I've been having a headache and my vision is not really 100% um, clear like when I was in college or like a teenager right now I have blurry vision I, I always and I always got a headache whenever I edit my video so I finally decided to have to get to buy an eyeglasses or reading glasses okay I hope you like it please comment down below <laughs> Okay, so yes, let's talk about the notes of Amazing Grace philosophy. We do have here our handy dandy notebook. So let's open her up. And where is that? Okay, so um, according to Fragrantica, of course, this is again from Fragrantica. It's a floral fragrance for women and it is launched in 1996. Wow, that was a long time ago. This fragrance is, you know, been in the market for a really long time. So some of us is really familiar with the fragrance. Let's go to the top notes. Top notes, we have bergamot. So bergamot is citrusy, it's bitter and tart, right? The next top note that we have is grapefruit. So grapefruit is bitter. It's aromatic citrus scent with a dirty undertone reminiscent of black currant. Okay, next one is mandarin orange, a sweet, hesperidic, juicy, honeyed note. Okay, so what is hesperidic, guys? So according to um, Wikipedia, no, it's not, I think it's Wikipedia. I, I searched in Google. Hesperidic is perfumery name for citrus ingredients. So we learned a word today, which is hesperidic. It's a um, common language in perfumery that means citrus ingredients. Okay, so we have three notes on the top note. So um, all of them is on the fruity, citrusy side. Okay, now let's go to the middle note, which is the heart note of the fragrance. So we have freesia. Freesia is a fresh, spicy, powdery, floral note. We have jasmine. It's sweet, it's white floral, and it's opulent. And next one is rose. We have lemony fresh with various nuances of powder, wood notes, or fruit. That's rose, okay? It's feminine, it's clean, and it's intensely romantic okay so that is rose so we also have three notes on the heart note or the middle notes guys and all three of them is floral okay because this is what the perfume or the fragrance promised is it's a floral perfume for women so the middle note or heart note should be floral right now let's go to the base notes we only have one base note which is musk so um, it's a common ingredient in our perfumes or in our fragrances musk is this earthy woody and it has this animalic scent so you guys those are the notes of um, amazing grace by philosophy it's pretty normal i mean it's pretty simple it's direct to the point top note is citrus middle note is floral and the base note is musk Right, so let's go ahead into the initial spray. This is the little bottle, so this is only 1.5 ml or 1.2 ml. Um, this is not a spray, unfortunately. I, I actually like spray better because um, I just like it. It, it seems <laughs> that when it is sprayed, the scent of the fragrance is really scattered 
but when it's just a bottle like a plain bottle and then I pour it in a paper I'm not really um, convinced and happy with that but that's okay I have here a piece of paper we are going to drop or yeah drop right we are going to drop some fragrance on this piece of paper this is the bottle like that and then I'm going to put some frag that's my cat that's Maui Maui here okay let's put some fragrance oh, 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 oh my no. gosh oh my gosh it's all over my notebook now okay okay <coughs> okay <laughs> that's fine okay so for the middle notes later, or for the dry down later, I have already um, put some fragrance here and here and on my clothes as well to test the um, scent on skin and on the clothes. So for now, we are going to check on the initial spray, initial, initial scent, <laughs> okay, <laughs> top note. So it's all over my notebook now. Okay, okay, okay. This is very citrusy, lemony, urine-ish, something like that. It's sour, it's bitter. It's really bitter. It's very sour. Um, the sweetness, there's tiny, teeny sweetness on it. I can smell sour and bitter. It is sour <laughs> and bitter and it's citrusy it's fresh as well um, the freshness was toned down okay yeah excuse my ah. it is toned down by the floral and the sweetness of the flowers but on a very mild way on a very mild way yeah that is the top note guys it's very simple it's uncomplicated right right off the bat you can really smell the citrusness the freshness of the fragrance now let's go into the dry down so here it has been 30 minutes to 145 minutes i guess on my hand and i can still smell the citrus i can still smell the very aquatic and fresh notes on my skin now here in my clothes on my clothes it smells like urine ish it's very sour it's very bitter it's probably because it is fighting with the soap that i used in washing my clothes that's why it's like that it smells like a little detergent ish here and at the same time very sour and urine-ish it's not bad but it's not good as well um, it's like some people will like will like it but some people won't um, really appreciate it um, for me I am not appreciating it because it smells like a dry saliva <laughs> about you know in the morning you can smell a dried saliva okay this is a fresh clothes that I'm wearing okay just fresh from our cabinet and it doesn't have any saliva on this one yeah it smells like a little there is a saliva that has been dried down from your <laughs> from your night's sleep it smells like that um I don't like it it's probably because of my soap that I'm using, well, I'm just using a, the common soap here in the Philippines. I'm not going to mention the brand, of course, but no, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. But here in my skin, here in my skin, it's it's a skin scent already. It's a it's a lemony skin scent, something like that. There is a lemony smell on your skin, but it's very. It's very um, toned down. It's very mild. Um, you will not notice it when you smell your skin. It's a floral, but more on the detergent, more on the uh, citrusy kind of scent, like that. Um, 
it doesn't smell like a perfume it doesn't smell like a fragrance it smells like a soap yes like a very simple soap yeah it's just probably me um, please comment down below what are you getting and if you have amazing grace by philosophy please comment down if you are getting a different um, scent or smell on this fragrance okay so that is the dry down the dry down is not really i don't really appreciate the dry down i don't really like it um next is the demographic so um this is actually uh, on the masculine side women can also wear this there is a wide variety of the demographic so a little girl in elementary can wear this and up to college yes sporty girls um, perfect for sporty girls because it smells so citrusy and something like that but it dries down into this very mature person it dries down into a mature scent but on the initial spray it's really fresh and citrusy and orangey but it dries down into this mature scent something like that where your aunt or aunt um, wears it if you're working you can also wear this this is just a very um, simple fragrance it's just citrusy and then it dries down into this simple floral so it's it's okay it's not that complex so it won't really catch attention as well it feels like you're just wearing a soap fresh something like that okay that's the demographic guys now let's go to the occasion for this scent this is like um this is okay for simple occasion like um, when you go to the movies um a simple date with your friends um if you want to have this low-key vibe, if you want to have this relaxed vibe, you can wear this fragrance. Um, I won't really wear this to birthdays. I'm not gonna wear this to any occasion at all. Probably, I'm just going to wear this um, when I go somewhere casual, like a quick trip to the grocery because this is just a very simple um, fragrance yes that is the occasion guys so for me i'm not going to wear this to any occasion probably i am going to wear this or i'm going to layer this to another fragrance that i have but if just this one to an occasion no but i'm going to layer it okay next one is weather so for the weather this is actually perfect for both weathers um now it's kind of cold actually because the air condition is on it's perfect for cold because it's cozy it's perfect when you go to bed if it's sunny this is okay as well the dry down will last longer the the hard note will last longer um so for both weathers cold and hot we only have two weather here in the philippines it's perfect okay next one is the longevity i did not um, really get a lot of longevity in this fragrance so this only lasts like two to three hours in my skin and on my clothes um, it lasted like three to four hours on my clothes so it lasts longer on my clothes than on my skin so it's probably because of my body chemistry right so it prop it's probably different on other body chemistry but on my skin it's already a skin set on the fourth and the fifth hour of wearing the fragrance Okay, so that's for the longevity now for the silage i am actually using this one so it's probably because it's not sprayed that's why the silage is not that really um strong it's like a meter or two um when i use this one because it's different when you use spray because the scent the molecules will really scattered let's go to the projection guys um for the projection of this fragrance it's just really it's subtle it's um it's subtle it's simple it's not screaming at all it doesn't scream fragrance it doesn't scream sweet or citrusy or fresh or anything like that this is a very subtle fragrance it dries down into a warm floral a warm rose and freesia it's really a warm floral when it dries down um, it's just on the initial spray that is really citrusy bergamotty orangey you know something like that very um citrus sour and bitter but it dries down into this really warm 
mature floral fragrance with a hint of citrus. For the silage or the sillage, it's just, um, it's subtle, it's okay. If you like perfumes that doesn't scream perfumes, that doesn't scream fragrance, this is perfect for you. Um, just like what I mentioned earlier, it's just very chill kind of fragrance. It's really simple, it's really low key, okay? It's just like, okay, I'm just here, I'm just vibing. I'm just here in the background, just looking at these um, celebrity perfumes and um, screaming perfumes but just me I'm just vibing I'm just waiting for someone to like me and it's okay with me if nobody likes me I like myself something like that okay <laughs> this is that kind of fragrance um, amazing grace by philosophy all right now let's go to the overall scent category of amazing grace philosophy is warm floral with a hint of citrus okay something like that it's really low-key it's chill if you want to have like a simple day um, maybe that day you want to dress like you know chill I'm just vibing um, this is also this is a mood okay this is a mood kind of fragrance like low-key chill I'm just vibing and I'm just chilling here just don't mind me Okay, I'm just here. Something like that. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't like fragrance that screams fragrance, <laughs> that screams sweetness, screams florals, this is this is okay. This is neutral kind of fragrance. Okay? So yes, that has been the video guys. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the notification bell button so that you will be notified for my next upload. And please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel guys. And I am going to see you on my next video. Bye!